This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. It's the uh, 6th of uh, September. Uh, met several friends down here. And uh, yeah, it was very, very nice. Everybody wanted to see Bryant. So I'm gonna see a little picture of Bryant here. Wanna wave hello? Hi there everybody. Go. <laughs> it's great to be back. He's back. It's great to be back. <laughs> Anyone remember Poltergeist? Yeah, the movie, they're back. <laughs> yeah, well, that shows you again how old I am. Here comes the trailer. Here comes the trailer, but we're going to put the food out anyway. Uh, yeah. So it was nice, because I saw two very, very wonderful um, animal lovers. One with the dog, who actually loved the birds. And one with the, uh, one who is the papa of our little Elvis, our kitty cat. Okay. So, yeah, poor Seymour. Poor Seymour has been crying in the background and waiting. So, but everything's going to calm down because the trailer is going to leave soon. And, uh, yeah. But it is a beautiful evening. So... We can go a little later today. Brian's doing pretty good walking with his cane. Um, so I told him he's better off with the cane than he is with the crutches. So crutches are a lot harder to walk with and uh, they catch on things and he's better with his cane he has one a cane in the house and a cane for the outside and he has his uh ro rollata his uh i don't know what you call it in english the stroller is a uh, walker walker on wheels and uh that's the best thing don't need it when you go shopping because he has the shopping cart to hang on to. And all he needs is the cane. So, but for longer distances, the best thing is the, uh, is the walker. That gives him the most stability because he's still healing. He's still going to continue to heal till the end of October. So, and we got to be very, very cautious in this time period. And, uh, Actually, from now on, because it's a scary thing. You don't want to damage that hip again. Or you don't want to break the other hip. So, no, that was a very long thing for Bryant. And I think he wants to go through that again. And with the dialysis, it really complicates everything. So... But anyway, uh, I got some really short little videos with this phone. I don't know. I, I took all the photos and videos off my phone and it's still saying there's no storage. So I can't take any videos and pictures with my phone and I didn't bring my GoPro. But anyway, um, let's throw this down for, uh, for Seymour. I don't know when they're going to come down. Maybe when they're not here. There are a lot of interruptions tonight. And here's his eggs. Eventually he'll come down. And we'll catch him maybe a view of him from the sidewalk if he comes. There we go. Of course, there were uh, a number of dogs here. My neighbor was here too with his dogs. But he loves animals, so. He doesn't care that I feed the birds. He likes birds. So does his wife. And he has two uh, wonderful rescued little, little pups. Really, really nice little doggies. 
Um, let's see if Seymour, I'm gonna turn around now and see if Seymour landed. Oh, there they are. And there's the mule gulf. See that? There you go. And our crows. There's a lot there to eat. I'm also going to throw down some uh, cashews now and some peanuts in the shell and other goodies for them. Very, very nice. They had to wait a little longer, but the way sometimes it goes, but they know they're going to get it. And that's what's important. No matter what happens, you're going to get their snacks. There we go. Oh, look at those pigeons. My goodness, we're still eating. There's plenty of eggs in there. I think I count 13 eggs today. There we go, guys. Dry too fast around here. See, the crows reacted to that uh, person in that car. They did not like that. Okay, I'm going to throw some nuts down here. Put some down this corner here. And we'll throw down some over here. Got some cashews. Okay. And I think we'll call it a day. Right? These are little kitchens. Wow, how they went through that seed. It's just phenomenal. And of course I threw seed all the way down. But I'm sure that uh, that um, Petey, Petey got some. throw out some more uh, seed. To me the pigeons need more seed. Some sunflower seeds. I'm going to throw some more of that down. The uh, the cashew nuts are kind of big for them. We're just eating the crumbs from them. Here we go. I go through a few the other day. Few the other sunflower seeds. That's what these pigeons eat. And the little and the little sparrows. The GM has the best price on these uh, on these uh, shelled sun uh, sunflower seeds. They really love them. No, they're not organic. You can get the organic ones, but if you were 500 grams, I think it's 199. So that would be like four euros for this bag. And I think this is like 265, 269 for a kilo. That's a huge difference. And uh, if I'm feeding them a kilo per day, that is, uh, see? thousand grams is one kilo that's a huge uh, huge difference and savings in money because um, they're good sunflower seeds are from Germany so they're it's a good quality um, anyway I'm going to shut down now and get going because Bryant's very tired and I want to wish you a great Wednesday our birdies are happy they're getting everything they want uh, Mama was here to take care of them. And uh, by the way, I had a friend who was in the parking lot of Migros 
and uh, as she was shopping with a friend she saw a poor pigeon who was limping and she threw out a little bit of uh, bread and uh, two men came out and, and virtually just like attacked her they started taking video of her and say you can't do this and can't feed the birds and took her license plate and really put her through the ringer. I mean, what is this? What is with these people? I uh, dare you, Migros, and shopping center. It's the Migros people. It's no one else but the Migros people. Because don't forget, who is the manager of the shopping center? Gerhard Lang from Winterthur. And what did he say? years ago I'm going to kill each and every bird and after that he laughed he is evil so let's not forget that and he's making good on his threat okay so but you can listen up because I'm gonna go in there just what you did to my friend I'm gonna go in there and start feeding the pigeons okay and I dare you to come after me I dare you to come after me because if you do I'm going to put a put a criminal charge against you for for Belastigone, for insulting me for wh whatever you have planned to do okay don't do that don't do that to your customers this woman buys a lot of things at Migros don't do that I'm going to write Migros for this